So we are going to use white grapes to substitute for the cognac. Let's have um, nine, and it has some really quality pieces in it. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Autumn, and welcome to another vlog, y'all. So I am excited, okay? I am super excited. If you caught the last, um, I don't even know exactly what I'm gonna call them. I'm gonna call them, I guess, like, you know, mocktail review, mocktail mix up. I'm still coming up with a name, but if you caught the last, video um where i use the free spirits brand i use the spirit of tequila in that video to make alcohol free margaritas y'all and it was delicious so in that same excitement i was like you know let me go back to walmart and let me purchase the spirit of gin because now we got to make us a pear martini in the last vlog i made a pear martini um that was my first one out the gate you know but i wanted to still experiment with um some of the work around and substitutes as far as you know alcohol so um in this time i have done some research and found out some really interesting things about a work around as far as ginger liqueur and as far as um cognac so and the traditional martinis are usually made with you know ginger with well, the one we're making a pair it usually has ginger liqueur or it has like cognac um some people do with vodka so today we are using the um, same the spirit of gin which is this and then I also went to Target and purchased a five piece um, bar set so I purchased this from Target for $39.99 definitely worth it because a lot of these pieces is what's going to let us make this delicious martini they're kind of you know necessary so um, like I said you can walk into the store and buy you get it offline but it is only $39.99 and it has some really quality pieces in it have the bar spoon I, the um i forgot what this is called already this is the muddler i want to call it the muggler but it's the muddler so this is used when you're using fresh fruit fresh herbs to really like crush you know the veins of the herbs to really crush down the fruit and break it down to get out those natural fruit juices um it also allows you to utilize the skin because the fruit the skin has oil in it and you want all of those all that goodness and your mocktails or your cocktails, but today we're doing a mocktail. Um, you also have a strainer. So this is super important because while you're mashing out all that skin, you know, getting all that, um, the juice and the pulp, this is gonna allow you to remove that before pouring it into your cup, your final cocktail or final mocktail. And then you have the double jigger. I've been flipping around playing with this all day, y'all. And you have the Boston shaker. So the Boston shaker is this. You have the really thick glass in the middle and it's used to do this so like i said 39.99 all really great pieces now, before we move on if you're not already subscribed to this channel go ahead and do so click the thumbs up below hit the subscription button as well um leave your girl a comment i always respond so let's get to this pear martini y'all all right y'all so on the cutting board we got some ginger some bartlett pears I already sliced up some fresh ginger um, from this root right here we got some lemons we got some um white grapes we're gonna talk about that in a minute because i know you probably like white grapes we're making a pear martini you know what's going on as well as the ginger but we're gonna get to that and then we have um pear nectar just like before some vanilla extract and some simple syrup and let us not forget of course the free spirits spirit of gin First thing I'm going to do is set some of this to the side, make some space, and I'm going to take my Boston shaker cup and I'm going to add the ginger. Add a few pieces of the Bartlett pear as well. And I'm going to take my muddler. I'm going to press it. Now, some muddlers have um, an adapter piece that goes in, it's like a plastic, but um, this one does not. It's my first one, so I'll probably experiment with the other ones later, but for today, this is the one that we have. All right, so that is the ginger and the pears. So now we're gonna talk about, um, so this, the ginger, of course, is gonna substitute for the ginger liqueur, that in combination with the um, vanilla extract. So for this 
for the pear martini it calls for cognac so we are going to use white grapes to substitute for the cognac so white grapes and vanilla extract and a syrup will substitute for the cognac the pears mushed in here already i'm going to add a few of the white grapes i'm going to go ahead and mush those as well all right so now that it's all mushed up and now i'm going to go ahead and add the rest of my items so right now i'm going to go ahead and add the pear nectar i'm going to try two shots of the pear nectar two tablespoons of the vanilla extract so i'm gonna do a half an ounce of simple syrup a lemon see where that gets us the last time i had to use one and a half lemons because i didn't get very much juice so that's one. My second half. And we're trying to get about a half an ounce. Oh, a little bit too much. That's about what we wanted. Add it to everything else. I'm gonna do two ounces of the spirit of gin. Let's see. So I'm going to do about a half an ounce of the curry mom. And I'm going to dump it right in there. Forget the ice. I'm gonna shake it. Make sure it's on there straight, good and tight. Just get the lid off. All right, y'all. So there we go. All our ingredients combined in this glass. So now we're going to add a pop the strainer on there and we're gonna pour oh wow y'all that's so cool because it kept all of our ingredients in the glass it didn't let anything really get through it kept all the pulp back so definitely an investment we'll be making cocktails or mocktails and yeah y'all all the stuff all the ginger the white grape the pear the cardamom all in there so now we're about to get real fancy and we're about to roast us a pear for the garnish y'all. So I'm gonna set this inside. Make this garnish. We are going to, I'm gonna do a few of these. I got a feeling that they're gonna be really, really good, but you're supposed to like really to thinly slice um, pears. And then we're gonna sprinkle with sugar and go ahead and just cut a few more because I got a feeling that these are gonna be really good just alone. I don't think I did that those ones right, but maybe these will be the ones I eat <laughs> by themselves. Let's slice from this side. Thin slices. That's pretty thin. That's pretty thin. I like the way these are looking. Oh. Alright, let's stop there. 
one of my metal pans. All right, so let's lay these out. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Mm -hmm. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Yay. Okay, y'all, so I got my sugar on there, and now I'm going to place these into Your the oven. Eyes tell me that you don't want to leave just yet. No, my eyes agree. It's almost like... All right, y'all, we are all done with the pair of martinis. So I actually made two. I made one for you guys and I made one for TikTok. If you don't already follow me on TikTok, go ahead and do so. I am Autumn Fox. So let's review um, these drinks. So I did a different finish at the end and I also let them sit for 30 minutes. This drink with the ginger garnish, um, I went back and I mold, I mashed up some more ginger and I added it to this um this glass right here and then i went through and took the um some more pears add some more pear nectar and added it to this one because i wanted to see if i could like create a contrast between the two like if i could make one more ginger one more pear and if i let them sit for 30 minutes like how would they taste as far as like the beginning taste and the finish and all that all right y'all so this one this one's supposed to be mostly ginger um, with a little bit of pear finish at the end. I put the ginger garnish here so I can tell the difference between the two. And I also put roasted pear um, and ginger on the end of this one as well. Okay, so this one tastes more ginger. Um, I can barely taste the pear, so it's more like a ginger martini. But this one's a little bit sweeter. I didn't go back and add any agave or anything in there. I just went back and added um, more ginger. I don't know if it got you know a little bit more sugar from the pear. Give me that. Put it down. Put it down. Oh my god, y'all! I was eating one of the ginger pieces that I had on the garnish. Oh my God, it's strong. It's real strong. This one's more like a sugary taste and this one's more like a pear, natural, sweet kind of taste. All right, so a question with the spirit of tequila seems to be like, can you pour it over the rocks and enjoy it that way, like just plain. Um, As far as like with my taste buds, with the spirit of tequila, you could, um, because you had like a lot of citrus flavors. You could definitely pour that over the rocks and just drink that, uh, drink that straight. As far as the spirit of gin, I would not recommend that. Uh, I know some people drink gin over the rocks, but although it's really good, it does not. The spirit of tequila kind of reminded me of, you know, it's what I would expect a non-alcoholic uh, tequila to taste like. As far as the spirit of gin. Um, is it yummy as far as like in a mixed drink? Yes. Does it taste appetizing to just pour over the rocks and just drink it just over ice? No, it does not. Like it's not, it's not made for that. It ain't that type of party. Um, as far as, you know, how my taste buds is set up, I would not recommend. I tried it. I tried it twice actually, and it did not fare off very well. But as far as in the martinis i mean it's delicious it definitely gives it that kick um so to me the spirit of gin the way that it tastes um it's a little tart on the end so gin of course is like that but um you can taste cardamom in it it's kind of um kind of a like a like a strong but um lemony kind of taste um it's not sweet at all the spirit of tequila was a little sweet um it is i can't put my finger on it i mean i'm gonna get the bottle and read what it says so the bottle says a bright herbal non-alcoholic alternative to gin with b vitamins and other functional ingredients to help ignite your energy and elevate your mood um the spirit of gin is a aromatic juniper and citrus forward non-alcoholic blend of natural flavors and functional ingredients that deliver a taste bud tingling mood elevated 
uh, cocktail experience. So um, it's got sugar and a couple different things in it. Um, the not alcoholic, the good spirit of great cocktails. So I don't see where it has like cardamom in it. I feel like I taste that just by itself. I don't know, but um, it talks about citrus. And to me, the citrus is, it tastes lemony. Um, the juniper, um, so it's like juniper berries. Um, I just not, would not expect to be able to drink it, you know, on the rocks. I would not recommend that to anyone. Um, but I do recommend purchasing it. I do recommend using it to make the martinis. I'm probably going to buy another bottle, as you can see, it's almost gone, um, and experiment with something else as far as that because it does taste really good as far as like a non-alcoholic alternative. It does add a certain kick as far as the drinks. I tried the drinks alone um like the mixture alone before adding the gin into it and it definitely gives it um something extra so they're both really really good um like i said i'm gonna buy another bottle of it and just try to experiment with something else because i want to take the spirit of gin and i want to try it with something that's like pomegranate so i think that this will pair well um with something with the pomegranate it might be because of the juniper we will see um and i think they 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 taste really good like to say that this is all non-alcoholic and it tastes this good and it's you know it's it is tingling on the taste buds i mean that's awesome to me that's that's a home run so yeah y'all that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you make you some martinis whether it be uh pear and ginger or ginger and pear um with the roasted bartlett pears y'all so if you're not already a subscriber go ahead and do so Go ahead and click that button below. Also, leave your girl a comment. I always respond and leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And I'll talk to you guys next time. I'm going to toast myself, y'all.